let's start with a simple equation. X is less than 1. Let's get our number line out here. Let's start with 0, 1, 2, and on this side, negative 1. If you remember from our last video, we used a symbol to plot the graph because we weren't using an equal sign. This parenthesis is telling us which direction the arrow will point on the graph, and it's also telling us that 1 is not a part of the interval. We can also use an open circle. It's the same thing as this parenthesis here. It's telling us that 1's not a part of the interval. And now we know that x is less than 1. Well, if it's less than 1, it's getting smaller than 1. That's the same thing with our open circle graph here. So it doesn't matter if you use an open circle or a parenthesis to indicate this number is not a part of the solution. Let's look at a couple more inequalities here. Let's say we have 4x plus 2 is less than 1. First thing to do is we want to get x by itself, so let's start. Now we have 4x is less than negative 1. I'm going to reduce both sides by multiplying by the reciprocal. Force cancel. Now what I really have over here is negative 1 over 1. And I'm left with x is less than negative 1 fourth. I'm going to create a different graph here. I'm going to put 0 here, negative 1 all the way down here, in between 1, 2, 3 small brackets, and this would be negative 1, 4, negative 1, half, negative 3 fourths. So I'll use an open circle because 1 fourth is not a part of the solution. And because x is smaller than negative 1 fourth, x will move to the left on the graph. Now writing this in interval notation, I know the arrow continues on to negative infinity. And my other endpoint is negative 1 fourth. And I'll use parentheses for this notation because negative infinity and negative 1 fourth are not a part of the interval. And over here on this first graph, I know the arrow will continue on to negative infinity, so we'll put that down. And the other endpoint is negative, is positive 1. And again, I use parentheses in this situation. Let's take a look at one more problem here. We'll have 3 times x plus 1 is greater than 2x plus 5. First thing we do is to reduce the problem. So I have 3x plus 3 is greater than 2x plus 5. Is that a little better there? First thing I'll do is subtract 3 on both sides. And now I have 3x is greater than 2x plus 2. And again, I'll subtract 2x this time from both sides. And I'm left with x is greater than 2. So let's graph this. We'll start with 2. Use open parenthesis or open circle. And the graph will continue on to the right. Let's do one more equation here. Let's do 2x plus 5. It's less than 3 times x plus 1. Change my pin here. First thing I want to do is reduce this problem. So I'm going to multiply 3 times x. 3x plus 3. It's greater than 
2x plus 5. Now I can subtract 3 from both sides. I have 2x plus 2 is less than 3x. And again, I'll subtract 2x from both sides this time. And I have 2 is less than x. Now before we graph this, let's rewrite this equation to read x is greater than 2. And I haven't changed anything, I've just rewritten it, so x is leading on the left-hand side. x is still greater than 2 here, as it was before up here. Now we're drawing our graph. And on our number line, we'll just start with positive 2. And do open circle here. Because x is greater than 2, I'm going to move to the right on the number line. Writing this in interval notation, I know my endpoints are 2 and infinity.